That thing is sexy. Yeah, it is. What is that thing? This or is something that hangs out on my nightstand occasionally in case uh, some bad guys come knocking. Uh, this is a Benelli Supernova that we have done some modifications to, including a side saddle from Mesa Tactical, uh, two shot extension on the magazine tube, and just a cheapy little rear side saddle here. So definitely a premium shotgun. A uh, few features on it that are very unique. One in particular is the ability to eject a shell without pulling from the tube. You want to demonstrate that real quick? Throw we'll some. Do uh, that. Yeah, go ahead and put the, put one in the in the breech and put one in the tube. And for changing different types of ammo, if you would be shooting birdshot like what we have here, and you would want to change to a slug or some heavy buckshot, uh, this is a nice way to not waste ammo. So what you would have to do is depress your action release here and simultaneously depress this button right here on the pump and pull to the rear. So as you can see, that shell will eject, but we did not pull from the tube. So I could very easily, if this was a slug for example, just throw it in. And what's really nice about that too is you have this massive breach here that since this is capable of shooting three and a half inch shells, it's also very long and very high. Just a lot of area here for you to do that sort of dynamics work with this shotgun. It's a big target is what you're saying. Yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah, speaking of big targets, look at the size of that pump. Yeah. So if you look at that pump, I mean, you can get three wombat hands on there, easy. Oh yeah, you can yeah. stack them up. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that gives you a lot, of, a lot of draw. Like for instance, I have kind of shorter arms, so I typically grip down here. Now when, when Bacon runs this gun, he's gripping it all the way up here uh, and I personally like the way that there's some indentations here on this is a stock part to grab my thumb yeah and I'm actually able to get some especially like today where obviously it's a little warm here in Ohio and a little sweaty this still gives me a very solid grip and I have enough leverage to activate the pump which is very smooth as well I will take a quick look here pump oh, just yeah. drops uh, almost all the way back and it ejects very well too. A uh, rotating bolt on this, so you can really fling those shells out of there. I mean, they fly. Yeah, absolutely. So it comes stocked with ghost ring sights. This is the tactical model, correct? Yes. Yeah, and it comes with uh, ghost ring sights. If you take a look at those, you got three dot uh, ghost ring, and you know there. So we've got uh, some pretty pretty decent sights on there. Um, how about the, the actual like uh, underside of the, the shotgun, the actual loading cycle. I think that it is superb. They give you, once again, just like the breech, you have plenty of room here. The lifter just pops right out of the way. Uh, big criticism I have on a popular shotgun like the Remington 870 is you have to push each shell individually past the lifter. This and your Mossbergs and so forth, uh, you will have this stay in the upward position. You can get right in to feed this. Uh, some people have complained about the length of a lifter, as opposed to a Mossberg, for example, being a little bit long. I personally, even with gloves and so forth, have never had a problem, and I've had this for a couple of years. I put thousands of shells through it, and have never had an issue being caught up in there. I think it's executed very well. I, I have not never had a problem with that lifter uh, catching a glove or anything like that, because it stays out of the way yeah, on like your own, but you know, Our personal experience, that has not been an issue at all. Okay, so how about the rest of the ergonomics? I think that it's about to take a hit. Well, for one thing, it's pretty heavy shotgun. As, as you can see, it is polymer with a steel skeleton. And But if you really look, you'll see a lot of the parts are just very large. This grip yeah. is going to add weight. You have thick dual action bars, a lot of weight. Uh, some of the accessories that we put on this particular one, too, are all going to add weight to it. Um, the other issue that I do have with it is... The safety is just a little bit too far for someone like me to be able to reach it without actually kind of creeping up out of the firing position a little bit. Which is uh, a sacrifice that you make for the size of that trigger guard. If you look at the size of that trigger guard, there's there's no way that that is going to snag you up, even with thick winter gloves. So Yeah, it's definitely been uh, no issues there. And the other problem, and this is a little bit more inherent to pistol grip shotguns, and this is actually the standard stock on here. But you'll have to creep up out of the firing position. And I, I just prefer this technique to just kind of grab the top of the receiver, pinch it out, 
to jack a shell in. But uh, it's a very smooth button. It's not anything you get hung up on. That's done fine, but you do have to leave the firing position to get in there. I agree. Uh, it does have an integral uh, a Picatinny rail on the uh, flat top there for mounting optics. Uh, that comes, it's not standard, uh, but that comes with this Mesa tacti tactical uh, uh, side saddle on here. Uh, that is part of the Mesa tactical, so it's not integral to the receiver. No, it is not. You can see right there where the joint is. Yeah. Um, now the trigger. Talk about the trigger. The trigger, you know, I, I thought about this as a hunting option, but the trigger on it, as far as something where you would need to do a little bit more precise shotgun work, like dropping a deer at 130 yards, uh, it's a little bit too heavy for that. And it's, it's more of a tactical. Trigger. It's something where there's enough weight on it that I feel safe to, to run around with it. Gotcha. But it's definitely not delicate. It's, it's not overly heavy, but there's a little bit of creep in there. And then it'll go, and it's very short travel. No, it's not something that's flailing around in there like a Mosin trigger or something yeah. like that. It's not that bad. But um, it is just the poundage on it is a little bit heavier. But like I said, for my purposes, uh, primarily home defense and just a lot of fun running and gunning with it, I think that it is very appropriate. Gotcha. Yep. Well, let's go ahead and run some more rounds through it. Let's do that. Let me get my ear. Uh, so as far as uh, loading goes, we're going to run through. I'm not a pro or anything like that. But I really like this particular arrangement with the side saddle. If you run your shotgun completely dry, you can progress through these in what I think is a very efficient manner that I'll go ahead and run through real quick here. So we're in the firing position. We're firing, we're firing, we're firing. Click. Then I can just tuck in underneath. So there are ways to work around the extra weight the shotgun does have. So I personally, being a pretty small guy, can just tuck it in and manipulate this just fine. And as far as shooting it goes, it returns the equilibrium really well. And I think that's largely due to the fact that the aperture is pretty large on the sight for a shotgun. It's definitely well made for that. Uh, additionally, the weight of the shotgun does mitigate recoil. I mean, I weigh about 140 pounds and it it uh, doesn't knock me around too bad. I find it to be very comfortable to shoot. They give you a pretty solid rubber butt pad on the back. Uh, it's not that plush type that you'll get on some other shotguns. It is a more rigid rubber, but it stays on your shoulder very well. And the weight of the shotgun and the ergonomics with the pistol grip, I find that helps me control recoil very well and keep the follow-up shots on target. All right, my turn. Do it. Okay, running the uh, Benelli Supernova. This was originally my shotgun, but I decided to sell it to uh, the Wombat. And I, I kind of miss it, I'm not going to lie. But yeah. You don't miss carrying it, though. It is a little beefy. It is. I don't miss carrying it because it is heavy. But in the interest of nostalgia, I'm going to run all the shells I have on me right now. So. Reminisce it up. <laughs> yep. Good. A whole lot of wads floating around out there. There is. <laughs> now, uh, we've gone over just about everything on this shotgun so far. This is really hot now, but I'm going to go ahead and, and give a, a quick look at this assembly. So this is an extension, and it comes with an extended spring and a, and a tube and everything. But there, there you go, folks. That's all there is to it. And this, what this allows you to do is you could have a longer barrel and the even longer extension if you decided to because this ring just floats on the magazine tube and I'm going to do this without trying to burn myself. Better you than me. Oh, it, it's burning. It's burning. It's burning real I'll bad. Put actually. my gun back together quicker. <laughs> now one little bit of a drawback on maintenance is that to access the 
internal parts of it if you really want to give it a nice deep cleaning which considering what's about to happen to it i'll have to do it later um you do need to punch out a couple of pins yeah pins here here so that this isn't like you know most handguns for example where you can just take them apart into a couple of pieces without tools um, this you, you will have to put a little bit of extra effort in to get everything back together right well this has been a look at the benelli supernova quality shotgun actually if it wasn't so freaking heavy i would use it all the time